We're gonna start out by making the brine for our smoked turkey. First, we're gonna start with two cups of salt. You're gonna go ahead and get that going. We're brining the turkey in this plastic bag so we can easily transport it into the cooler. And then we're gonna add in a half a cup of brown sugar, give it a little sweetness. And the reason why you wanna brine with turkey, this is the little trick that my grandmother always taught me, because sometimes when you cook a turkey and it gets kinda of dry, you wonder, what is it I can do to keep it getting dry? If you brine the turkey, what it does is put extra juices back into the turkey so it'd be nice and moist and the family would not believe how you got it to taste that way. And baby, when I put this hickory smoke on this baby in a little bit, with it's gonna that be brine, no joke. it's gonna be on. You put that in there, one cup of bourbon, just to give it a little <laughs> kick. Cause you know when the family come, we gotta have a little juice in here. Well, I'll tell you what. That's about one cup. Now he had to get in and pour the bourbon. Absolutely. So we got that. And we're gonna add in three cups of apple juice. So I can so have that three here. Three cups. Yeah. That's a big one, baby. How many it pounds is, this is, is that about? This is about 22 pounds. We're gonna have some fun in the backyard with this baby a little bit later on. You know, and I just love it when you do a smoked turkey. It has a nice color to it. And then the smoke with the brine from all the seasoning in there. Oh, it's wonderful. I'm gonna put in a gallon of water. Pat's gonna pour the first one in. So you need two of these? Yep, I'll I need one other. more. All right. Then we're gonna add in a tablespoon of peppercorn. Just a little bit in my hand. Just drop that in there. Once Pat add that gallon of water, that's it. See how simple that is? I'm gonna give it a little whisk around so that brown sugar and salt can get in there. <laughs> that. This amount of liquid would only fill part of this bag. So you have to flip the turkey halfway through the brining process to make sure the entire turkey soaks up the liquid. We really like Ooh, to... Uh, that's a big bag. It is. You know, we really would prefer to do this the night before, but our deal is... Huh? There we go, get her out of there. Whoa! There we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, we're gonna seal it up. We got a cooler with ice. And we're gonna sit her down in here. Now don't forget to flip this turkey about halfway through the brining process so that the whole turkey can soak up the liquid. Typically I would have done this last night and let it sit all night, but we're gonna let it sit out here for several hours while I get my grill ready, and then we'll pull it out and put it on the grill. I'm going to the garage with it, honey. And that's gonna be one unbelievable smoked turkey. Every good turkey needs to have a dry rub. We're gonna start with two tablespoons of salt, one and one half tablespoon of sage, one and one half tablespoon of thyme because it's so holiday. It smells wonderful. Now that says Thanksgiving if I don't know Thanksgiving. And just a half. And of course, a half a tablespoon of Neely's Dry Rub. It's never far away. Just to give it a little color. And a half a tablespoon of pepper. See that? Just using this little dry rub is gonna open the flavor on that turkey beautifully. So Pat, you can bring that little dry baby on over and we're gonna accessorize it. <laughs> it's, it's Did you really, dry, pat her down? It feels like you know, God, giving that a looks turkey huge. a bath. So she's ready to go and you got the rub? Yep, and we're just gonna sprinkle on a little olive oil just so the rub can stick to it. That's good, that's good. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm Now it's my spice fairy. That's right. Put it down in the little cavity there. I tell you what, it smells Open good. her up. Can you flip it over? Let's it over, yeah. Flip it over. Right Rub it down. Oh, yay! Gotta get the back. Okay. Is that good? It really is, Look at baby. the color of it. I can't wait to see Tony's face. I can't wait to see huh? all their faces. I think this oh, is it. I can't get rid of this family. <laughs> Cause it's so good. All right, I think this is perfect. Honey, so get I'm that baby smoking. All right, I got a little break because it's not that cold. But I got my smoker all set up, fired this baby up earlier. We're trying to get to a 225 degree temperature and that's the smoke we want. That's exactly what we want. All right, so we're gonna grab this baby and put her on. This is a 22 pound turkey. So we gotta take our time with her. Just like that. And we're gonna close up. If you notice, most of the smoke is coming from the right-hand side. That's because we got our great firebox over here. We got a charcoal, we got a hickory going, and it's penetrating and pushing through on this smoker. And it's probably gonna take five to seven hours. One of the things that I always do is I have a thermometer. 
and it's inside, but I'll bring it out when I think this bird is done, and I'll stick the thermometer all the way in to make sure that the internal temperature reaches 160 degrees. That way you know your bird is done. Because with all of this smoke, this baby will appear to be done on the outside, but it may not be internally done. So you want to make sure you use that thermometer. And we're just going to let her sit here and smoke and do her own thing. Oh, boy. We smoked this turkey for about six hours until it reached an internal temperature of 160 degrees. Now that says Thanksgiving.